again and welcome to another installment of our online children's moment. My name is Pierce Fetters and I head up the family ministries at the Chicago Temple and I am so glad you are all here with me this morning. I hope you all had a wonderful week and let's dive in and see what today's Bible story has for us. Today we're going to be hearing a story from the book of Isaiah which is the longest book of the prophets in the Old Testament. Now, Isaiah was a prophet, which meant that God used him to speak on God's behalf to the people of Israel, right? And the people of Israel were God's chosen people. At this point in time, the people of Israel had been conquered by an enemy, the Babylonian Empire. And they were forced to leave their homes in Israel and head to Babylon. After some time had passed, they were finally able to return home to Israel, but they had forgotten some of what God had told them. And they weren't living in the way God had commanded them to. So God sent Isaiah to remind them what it looked like to live as a child of God. So let's see what they had forgotten and hear how Isaiah reminded them. Today's passage comes from Isaiah chapter 56. And I'll read verse 1 first, and then later on I'm going to read verses 6 to 8. In verse 1 it says, God says, be fair and do what is right. When you do, my help will will come soon, and you will see my goodness. But as we read on, it seems that some people, right, so immigrants who joined them from other places weren't being treated fairly. So here's what God had to say about that. These people from other nations who serve and love me are also mine. Anyone who keeps the Sabbath as I have commanded and follows my ways is mine. I will take them to my holy mountain. They will find joy in my house of prayer. I will accept their offerings. My house will be a house of prayer for all people. Now it's important for us not to just read those words, but to understand what God is saying. In this passage, God is reminding the people of Israel of something important. That others who follow in the ways he instructed can also be called children of God. I also think God was a little frustrated that the people of Israel didn't learn anything while they were in exile in Babylon. Because I'm sure during that time they relied on the help of others. They were the immigrants in a foreign land, and I am sure they needed help from those who lived in Babylon. But as soon as they're back in their own lands, it seems they've forgotten what it means to be in that position. And they are not treating the immigrants in their midst with kindness. I think we can learn something very important from this as well. The body of Christ is a very diverse body. People from all over the world, from different races and backgrounds, come together on Sundays to worship the same God. We also know that in our own country, people who are from other countries and who look different from us and speak different languages are sometimes treated poorly by those who have lived here longer. In this passage, God is reminding even us that all are welcome in the church, and there is always more room at the table. We as Christians then need to stand up for others who are not being treated kindly or equally for whatever reason, recognizing that God has saved us all and we are all created equal in God's sight, so we need to treat others the way that we would want to be treated. 
What a wonderful reminder this is for us all. And what an amazing and loving God we serve. And so I ask as I close our story for today, would you pray with me? Let us pray. God of all people, may our hearts be open to everyone who follows your ways. May we treat everyone fairly each and every day, no matter what. Amen. Now we always end our time with a song. And I thought it would be appropriate to sing a song we've sung a couple of times. The song's called Draw the Circle Wide. And this song talks about how there is always room for more people at Christ's table. So let's not just sing this song, but let us all keep drawing the circle wide and wider still to continue to include all and let everyone know that they are welcome at Christ's table. Would you sing with me? Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. No one stands alone, we'll stand side by side. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle. Draw the circle wide. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. No one stands alone, we'll stand side by side. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle wide, draw it wider still. Let this be our song. No one stands alone, standing side by side. Draw the circle. circle, draw the circle wide, draw the circle, draw the circle wide, no one stands alone, we'll stand side by side, draw the circle, draw the circle wide, draw the circle Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Thank you for joining me for today's online children's moment. I hope you all have a wonderful week and find ways to reach out and treat those in our midst fairly and kindly. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.